So I just want to make a quick video for you guys. I'm going to do some maintenance on the 6-speed we recently installed. Super simple. And one of my favorite things about the 6-speed is you can change the fluid without having to take out the intercooler and all that up top. Um, first thing we're going to do is take off the fill plug. Then we've got two drains. We've got one here and one here. And then you're just going to put the drain plugs back in and fill that until it starts to drizzle out a little bit. Super simple. Let's get to it. Okay. All right, loosen this off camera, make it easier. Both the fill and the drain here are both 10 millimeter Allens. Um, so you're gonna wanna have like a, a ratchet with an Allen socket on there, be the easiest way. As you can see, I got a little bit of a oil drizzling out of there it's nice and warm so when it warms up the fluid level will rise very slightly but uh, that's that's probably an adequate fill there so now I'm going to take out the other two drain plugs that one's usually really easy that one is usually a major pain because it seizes in that's a t70 torx so I'm going to take those out next this is where things can get a bit messy hopefully it doesn't make a huge mess and you also don't want to lose your uh, crush washer. You should replace it, but I don't have any. Thank goodness my brace there saved it from spilling over the edge. Caught it just in time. So it looks pretty good. It hasn't been in there that long. So this is my big old Snap One T70. Uh, like I said, this drain plug here it usually seizes on I had this off about a week or two ago because um, I'm just kind of doing a flush on this new transmission or used transmission I should say um, a tip I got was to put some valve lapping compound in here and then hit it with an impact as a last ditch effort I don't like to do that uh, mine was so tight I used this 36 inch breaker bar and it busted my hand open that was like two weeks ago um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Mine wasn't stuck too bad. I still needed to use a breaker bar to crack it loose. Uh, but like I said, that's only because I've had it off last week. But yours will probably be stuck really bad. Took the gloves off. It was too hot in here. Hands were getting all sweaty. Middle of summer. Yeah, not too bad. Still clear ish. Alright, so for the fluid, I'm using Motul Gear 300 and some lightweight shock proof. They say to put two quarts of this in and then top off with the Motul, um, but I think I'm going to try just one quart this time around, and if I don't like how it is, I'll try a second quart, but this is a significantly this is a pretty low mileage transmission, so I don't think I'll need, you know, a lot of this. This has a lot of friction modifier in it. Um, you know, it looks like pretty good oil. It says film thickness greater than 75, 140, yet low fluid friction, like ADW. So, looks like some pretty good stuff. I just don't want to overdo it with the friction modifier. So I'm using a transfer pump that you can get basically anywhere, Walmart, Advanced Auto, Harbor Freight, um, to pump the fluid in. Makes it much easier that way. And this lightweight shock proof, I spilled some intentionally to show you guys. It's like a blue, it looks like, I don't know, looks like some sort of, all right. And once you get a nice uh, drip coming out of there, a nice drizzle, you can cap it off. Make sure to tighten uh, all the plugs up. I'll leave the torque specs in the description, so check there. But uh, yeah, after that, you're all done.